Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Life of Logan TV. And coming through the door, if you haven't done so already, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like the video, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and please make sure you hit the notification bell so you're always alerted whenever I drop one of these fire videos. And today's video is about purpose, purpose in life. Now, we all have a plan for our life. We all have something in our life, goals or different things or whatever that we just want to, we want to accomplish. And we just have these big overarching, grandiose ideas about how we think that our life is, uh, is, is going to go. And it often doesn't go according to plan. Now, it doesn't mean, again, like I always say, that you should not have a plan. You should always have some sort of plan. But you should be prepared for that plan to change at some point because things will always change. Uh, no matter how great the plan is for every uh, great line, piece of code or whatever, there is always a defect that has not been yet exploited in it yet. And when you're going through life and you have these plans about this is what I want to be. This is what kind of career I want to have. This is, you know, the type of family I want to be involved in, uh, that I want to lead or I want to be a part of. And then something happens, something happens. And it, you can call it divine timing. You can call it just a uh, holy intervention, or you just call it life just doing what it does. But life shakes it up. And it's like a train. I was telling, um, I was telling a friend of mine this, uh, I was telling her it's like a train. It's like a train going down the tracks and something is happening. Something happened with the train and they have those levers where you have to pull them and it can divert the train onto a different track in case there's something like some sort of danger or in case like the track is the track that they were originally on is closed for a different reason. That's what happens in life. If you're not quite going towards your purpose or even if you think you're going towards your purpose and it's just like and God's just like nah that that's not the way it goes that that's not the way it goes like nah you don't want you you I don't want you over there I need you over here and you have to divert and you have to pivot and then you have to just make these changes in your life or go down a different path that you never thought that you would you never thought that you would. Now, um, I've had to kind of like be confronted with that because over the course of my life, like when I was younger, um, I'm taking computer science classes and I'm getting, you know, these different degrees and everything. And that was actually my second incarnation because before I wanted to do, Eng I wanted to be a writer, a creative writer. So I'm taking English with a minor in creative writing, did that for a couple of years in college. And it's like, okay, you know, now I'm not in college because reasons. And now I'm not at this uh, particular university. And then I'll say, okay, let me go ahead and uh, find like a trade or something like that. So that's when I started getting into the uh, computer science, software engineering, network administration, um, or a portion of things. And, you know, Cisco routing and all that. And I'm like, yeah, I want to do this. And I'm so excited and gun ho about doing this. And now I'm looking at myself in the here and now and saying, nah, I want to do something else. Like, I want to do something else. Like, this isn't quite serving me the way that I thought it would. This isn't really helping me. I want to do something where um, I am a service to people, whatever, like life coaching, uh, personal training, something where I can heal people and help them transform, you know, uh, like massage therapy. It's all these different things uh, that can be uh, that can be done. You can do all these different things. And it's just like now realizing like, OK, I had to go through all of that to get here. And I've even had people um, I've even had people over the course of my life tell me that. I, I should be a pastor because of my voice. Hey, like, do y'all know that I hated my voice for years? Comment down below if you had a voice like this, would you ever hate it? I hated my voice. I was uh, I was a part of student radio in college, and I heard myself on the radio one day, and I went back down. I I ran back over there to where we broadcast out of, and I said, "Man, I, I quit." take me off of it. Like I hated my voice and I've just gotten to the point now over these past 
couple years where I'm like, nah, my boy's dope. Like, I'm dope. Like, you know, I mean, hey, you know what I'm saying? I, I got the recipe, so my product will always keep me in the mix. That's the way I think about myself now. And it's it's just helped me so tremendously. And even with that, you feel like you're walking into your purpose. Like, I feel like I'm walking more deeper and more aligned into my purpose and what I'm supposed to do because... I am comfortable with myself. I know who I am. I know who I who I am, so I'm not going to allow anybody to tell me who I am. What you think I am is just you projecting what you want, you know, what you want me to be or what you wish you were onto me. But I am him. Like I'm already that dude. I'm already that guy. Like I don't need, you know, I don't need any other other stuff whatever. I don't accept no substitutes. I don't need any additives or whatever. Like I'm good the way I am. I'm good. This recipe good. And with that, that has even helped me kind of like realize like, you know what I'm saying, a deeper purpose. And that's another reason why I started up this YouTube channel is because, you know, I, I just know that I'm a powerful speaker and it's going to resonate with somebody and you're going to see me and you're going to feel the energy. You're going to feel the energy leap off the screen and it's going to take a hold of your soul and it ain't going to ever let you go. And these words are going to resonate with you or whatever. And then, again, y'all know how I am. I'm having another good day. I'm beaming. And then you see the beam. And you can't help but just become intoxicated by the whole thing or whatever. So, it, I understand the assignment. Now, I understand the assignment. I understand what my purpose is. And that is to heal. That's to inspire. That's to stir something up deep inside of people and uh, help them transform, be it mentally, spiritually, emotionally, uh, just all of those things or whatever, because life is going to be what you, what you make it. It's the 90, 10 rule It's going to be what you make it. So make sure you make that 10% actually matter. But y'all, I'm about to get up out of here. Um, I just got done, uh, taking a lovely walk through the park. It was very divine. Thank you for asking. And I'm going to get out of here and I want you all to have a great day and I will talk to you soon as always. Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.